This is chosen by the body. A 100% natural skincare and wellness company. We have soaps such as charcoal, lavender, lemongrass, turmeric. Come to the quiet place where you can honor the womb through the practice of yummy steaming. We also have a variety of services as well, such as Reiki, sound therapy, 24 killings, and wound detoxes. Come to the quiet place and heal with Chosen. You want me to write, cast, direct, film in 10 days? 10 days. Get your cool. gay cool. ass out of cool. here. I don't need this shit. Oh, oh, you want to fuck up my house now, huh? Get the fuck, fuck your house. house. And furthermore, I reached out to the people that I hooked you up with. And they all got paid, but I did not. And that's a problem, so I need my motherfucking money. Listen, the more that I'm thinking about it, the angrier that I'm getting. I have to end, I have to end this hobby before I come outside of myself. This was not the way that I wanted to start my morning. What the fuck is his problem? He's about to catch these hands. Okay. Fuck! Child, who said anything was wrong with me? I just don't give a fuck about Tatum hooking up. He does it enough and I'm tired of the bullshit. I don't want to hear it. That was fucking unnecessary. And so are you. You're okay. But you already know he mad at you for whatever reason. Do I look like I give a fuck? Well, dang. Fuck Nigel. I told each and one of y'all about his ass. But you always take it up for his black ass. Okay. The only thing you know how to do is fuck up shit. Baby, come on. So, why are you being so fucking sensitive with shit? <laughs> shit! <laughs> oh! No, fuck your headache. Bitch, you almost lost your life last night. You're not doing that. Why are you switching out now? Because I got an image still on. Oh, so you worried about your image? Got it. Well, this is my job, and unless you're gonna marry me and pay all my fucking bills, then this is what I have to do. So fuck your image. Oh, I feel, I feel anger. I feel lonely, I feel lost. I feel abandoned, I feel disappointed, I feel embarrassed, I feel stupid. Good grief, girl, get a grip. But it keeps happening. Fuck you up in here. Man, nigga, you ain't gonna do shit. Wait. Security! Security! Get him! Get him! Get the fuck off of me! Better yet, y'all can wrap this shit up. We done for the day. Uh, really? Are you serious? Are you what you mean? Stop! Stop filming! Seriously! Bye! Bye! This shit here, straight disrespect. Why the fan favorite to set it off? Mm. Girl, that was a rat running out there. A, a whole rat. Yeah, a whole rat. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
So I want everyone to enjoy the manual. It's a seven week episodes that I'll be showing, seven weeks of episodes. So I want you to check it out. It's still relevant to today. I've even included some females in an episode. So for all you ladies, I did not leave you out. So I thank you so much for supporting uh, not only just set it off, not only me, but also I want you to support the man. I want you to like it. I want you to comment. I want you to share. It is something to watch. All right. And if you enjoy it and you want me to come back with more episodes, please, by all means, hit me up and let me know. And I'm sure that we can probably make that happen. All right. So thank you so much for watching all seven episodes of the manual. Take care. Peace. Hello, I'm Terrence Styles, and you're watching The Manual, a show created for men from all walks of life to discuss what we endure during our lifetime. And this episode is called In Style We Trust. So we have a special guest, Jeremiah Roberts, who's a fashion stylist, a wardrobe stylist, and we're going to discuss what men should do about fashion, what essentials they should have, how they should dress up for their body type. So it's going to be quite interesting. So remember, In Style We Trust. All right, so we'll go right into it. Welcome, Jeremiah. Thanks Thank you for, for having joining me. us. I appreciate you. Absolutely, it's glad to be here. So we're gonna go right into it. I did some research about you. So I was informed that you had a three-year anniversary. Yeah. Um. So I established my business in 2015 and celebrated three years of helping make people look great. Wow. So what got you to be a wardrobe stylist? What got you to that point? Well, how do you refer yourself? Because there's wardrobe star stylists, there's fashion stylists, there's celebrity wardrobe stylists, <laughs> there's celebrity stylists, there's celebrity fashion stylists. How do you, what What do you go by? Um, I go by wardrobe stylists. Also, okay. I mean, there are so many ways you can identify yourself in this industry. Um, and so I just say wardrobe stylist. Okay. Um, and, uh, or image consultant, because that kind of end umbrellas everything so um so how i came to this actually it's it's a funny story i actually was in school for education and uh well first i got my degree in business okay then i transferred got my uh was working on my degree in education mm -hmm. and i thought that i wanted to inspire uh people that way and uh i, I loved seeing students like have that light bulb go off of learning something or helping them to realize something. And uh, after I got close to graduation, I said, no, this is not for me. Uh, so I wanted to figure out how can I inspire people in a different way, not inside of the classroom, just outside abroad or whatever. And so what happened was uh, I was just kind of doing some soul searching, just like, what am I passionate about? What um, what would I enjoy doing in the next 10 years? And so uh, what happened is I had a friend that actually was like, well, you always look good. Have you ever thought of like making that a career? And I was like, you, you know what? No, I haven't. And uh, kind of did some research on, you know, what a uh, wardrobe stylist does. And I was in uh, in Atlanta at that time. And so I kind of heard that word, uh, that name thrown around a lot. So I did research and found out there are a lot of Stylist, <laughs> especially uh, here in Atlanta. Baby, something that shouldn't be. I'm just saying. Uh, everything here in Atlanta that shouldn't be. Right. Costumes. So, yeah. Now that's another. That's another term because those, and those that word is uh, referred to those who are on movie sets yeah, and theater. things like that. So, so when I did that research, I you know figured out that it's there's a wide range of things that you can do in this industry. You have to just find your niche. Right. So, uh, so I did that and I said, you know, I love helping people just look good because I love looking good and it helps me Child feel good. Mm -hmm. So, um, so once I figured that out, I said, you know what? Okay. I, let me, you know, pursue this, got into it, uh, get all the, you know, paperwork and everything and became a wardrobe stylist and got my first gig, I guess, if you want to say, um, as a wardrobe stylist for, 
a uh, indie record label company here in Atlanta at the time, and uh, and I had a great time. So I just loved seeing people look their best and then just be overall confident in what they're wearing because it, it changes your whole attitude. Yeah, so. Does. So I had Rig and Donald on the, uh, on this particular episode with me because they like to dress just as well as I do. <laughs> so, uh, yes, absolutely. Especially this one next to me, baby. <laughs> that one. If you follow him on <laughs> Instagram, <one>. Facebook, <laughs> Donald Harris, this sucker right here you know, can dress his butt from the top of his head to the bottom of his foot. I'm just saying. So, well, if there is some men that's watching this episode that has no idea about fashion, about style of putting mm-hmm. things together, making them fit their body type, what would you tell them if they came up to you and they saw you or had or heard about you? What would you say to them? So the number one thing, uh, especially when I meet with uh, male clients, is fit. Um, and a lot of guys, you know, they just go to the store and just pull whatever because it's just convenient. Mm-hmm. They don't want to be in the store that long. And they think that it works. Right. And then you don't want to go back to the store to return anything or, you know. So so a, a fit is my number one thing with uh, addressing that with clients. I had a client a few weeks ago who I'm rebuilding his entire wardrobe. He wants to change things up. And, and so what I've been doing is helping him realize that he's not a 44. He's actually a 42. So he's just wearing clothes, clothing that is uh, huge on him. Um, and so I'm just helping him with fit. Okay. Um, that's the number one thing. The, the second thing is knowing how to style your body type. Um, and so there are, are a couple different body types and, well, a few, I would say. And so you just have to know how to style yourself correctly right. because you can't, you can't be really, really thin and wear like huge baggy clothing. Sure. Cause that's that's, that's just nice. not. <laughs> Chris Cross, make it <laughs> so yeah, so that just doesn't work out. So you just have to find your right fit, mm-hmm. um, know your body type, so that you can do that. And that's why wardrobe stylists are here, because that's what we help you with the overall image. Yes, Rick. I have a question. <laughs> All powerful image consultant. <laughs> <laughs> can you explain for our viewers what the difference between fashion? style mm. oh yeah that's a great question that's very important yeah so so fashion is kind of like to what i would like to say are like the rules and principles of what you should look like basically so when you look in the blogs when you look in uh instagram or magazines those are basically just rules people are just telling you hey this is what's going on this is how you should dress things like that so when you're talking about style you're talking about your attitude, your confidence, because all of those things help bring, like you could be wearing what in someone else's eyes, the worst outfit. But if you're confident and you're passionate about what you're wearing and it's true to you, Mm -hmm. that's style. And it's your overall attitude and just makes you, you. So. Okay, so follow up question. Sure. Given the fact that we are gay or same gender loving, Okay. We tend to we have are, a. We all are. Right. You're a queen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the fact that we are a little bit more fluid in our expression. Right. Okay. Sometimes we have friends who like like to claim the androgyny card, mm-hmm. but then sometimes when we see what they have on, it's like girl, girl. it's like an identity crisis. <laughs> How do you? What best practices would you give to somebody who's really trying to just? figure out through sometimes trial and error yeah. what works for them. Yeah, um, and I tell my clients all of the time, uh, trust me um, and let us explore. That's actually one of my uh, words in my business plan is just exploring because a lot of people don't know. So that's why I'm here to help guide you to figure out what works best for you, mm-hmm. things like that. So we do a lot of trial and errors. Mm-hmm. I have them go into the fitting room and and. Sometimes I see something and it doesn't quite uh, get pulled off, you know, when they put it on. So it's, it's, it's a trial and error thing. So you just have to kind of find your, your, your personal style through just exploration. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so sometimes uh, that's why fashion is good because you're, it's kind of a guideline, you know, in some ways because people can go and say, oh, you know what? I, I like how, um, let's say, I don't know. Who's a who's a stylist or an, um, a celebrity that you follow? Vivian Westwood. <laughs> <laughs> are there any, like Vivian are there any Westwood. male influence uh, um, you know, celebrities or something that John you Legend? John Legend. Okay, okay. that's Timeless. a great one. 
That's a great one. He is very, very timeless, very classic. Right. Um, and so sometimes uh, what I tell my clients is to uh, tell me who your your fashion influence is, mm -hmm. who, you know, who you're looking at um, in the blogs or magazines, who you're uh, finding um, that just attracts you more. So going to that, uh, we explore, we don't try to copy them. That's what I right. don't want to yeah, do. Don't I don't want to copy, but just right. that where that's where style comes in. Right. It's making it you. Right. So um, just coming in, trying different things. And sometimes it, it takes a while for you to find to find that. So you just have to just Ooh, go also forward. Also not being afraid. You can't be afraid right. to right. try several things. I think, especially with men, and, 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 and I, I, I guess it's both, the uh, heterosexual and homosexual um, uh, style, I think they're afraid to try different things if they're not something they're not used to. And you can't be afraid. Like, I know straight men that dress their butts off probably just oh, as yes. well as I do, if not better. Oh, yes. So you, they're not afraid and they're comfortable within their skin to right. do so. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the main thing. You can't be afraid right. to try and see. Yes, sometimes it's trial and error, but you don't know unless you try it. Right. So, right. so the last question, I promise I'm going to shut up after this. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Do garments have a gender? Garments don't have a gender. Um, now, when it when you when you are because you there are a lot of women now that love tailored and like suits, and you're seeing that a lot more. Janelle Monae, for example. Um, now there are some things you know that you that are uh, that you can that you can explore, but that I mean everything is just relative to your own personal style. So we saw. Uh, I know. I saw. Uh, Jada and uh, Will Smith's son. Oh, Jaden. Jaden. Mm -hmm. um, he appeared in, I think, in a Gucci um, ad where he was wearing a skirt with jeans and rocking it. And he pulled it off because he has the confidence. Mm -hmm. um, important. It's, it's a confidence. very, very important. Yeah. Um, and so it's just all, it just is relative to your personal style, how you can rock it and just make it yours. And if you go somewhere that don't have a dressing room, don't go back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it is something about mm -hmm. seeing something visually mm -hmm. on yes. the hanger. Absolutely. And then you go in the dressing room and try it on, and you say to myself, "Oh my God, right. right? This looks so much better out there." So that's why I'm gonna leave it. Right. And then a lot of times, it's it just needs a, a added piece or yes. a belt or right. a jacket or something. Right. And if you can kind of visualize in your head, okay, what's it? I get home. And tweak this with about three more items, I'll be good. Right, mm -hmm. right. Uh, exactly. But yeah, I don't go anywhere that if they say, "Oh, you can't try it on." Okay, well, I can't get it. Right. Yeah, I can't goes, make a second trip back. That goes to body type. <laughs> yeah. You know, because every everyone in us in America, we're we're very unique. A lot of these clothing uh, clothings are uh, made in China or Europe. places. Yeah, yeah, Europe. So there are a lot trimmer. There are a lot of. Um, different features that Americans not don't necessarily wear or try or anything like that. And so you just have to find your niche. And I actually have a lot of clients who, when we are trying different things on, I'm saying, hey, this may be big, but we can tailor it down or we can do different things mm -hmm. to make it yours. So as a, as a, as a wardrobe stylist, because uh, I used to be a wardrobe stylist, I was a wardrobe stylist for 10 years. And what I found is that I've had more time, I have better fun with um, helping uh, clients style without going with the labels. Like, I enjoy going to consignment shops mm -hmm. and going yes. to thrift stores and antique stores that are uh, primary to wardrobe. And I've had clients that just like, where the hell did you get this from? Yeah. I, even to this day, I'll wear something like, where the hell did you get that from? And I'm like, <laughs> only if you knew. So as a wardrobe stylist, do you find that when you style your clients that it's not always about the labels? Absolutely. Um, I am not necessarily, people call them label whores, <laughs> but, <laughs> that's, what they are, right? but <laughs> that's just the, the most I mean, common they look term. Cute, but, they, but damn, um, I don't believe in just wearing head to toe label everything. Right. I'm a more eclectic, like let's mix high low yes. pieces, um, yeah. you know, and things like that. Cause I, I uh, like to consign and shop as well mm -hmm. and find different pieces that are unique and that you can, uh, maybe pair with maybe pair with that Gucci belt that you love mm -hmm. and make it something of your own because and that's all style. Yes. So oh, <laughs> all powerful mighty oh, oh. consultant. <laughs> what do you say to these guys who are trapped in the nineties still sagging? Oh, that's oh a man. good one. Yeah, so don't do it. 
Let it's just not. <laughs> no, and but you know what? What's funny is I'm actually seeing a lot more um, the on the horizon, a lot more of the gentleman mentality. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of guys. Well, just yeah, a lot of guys are like are coming to more of themselves of. of Owning their king kingship, mm-hmm. um, because I mean that's to me when I wear a suit like I feel like a king, mm-hmm. and I mean I am a king, but I, I that just makes you feel powerful. Right. So um, I think a lot of guys are now seeing that trend of like gentlemen tailored, you know, mm-hmm. uh, all of those things because it, you just feel it makes you feel a certain way. Mm-hmm. So um, sagging pants. Gotta go. Gotta go. go. (laughs) On that note, Jeremiah, thank you so much for um, joining us on this episode of Emmanuel. In style, we trust. It's my pleasure. Oh, we have to trust that. How can people find you? Uh, So you can find me. uh, My website is www.fashionmrstyles.com. And my Instagram is at styledbyfashionmr. And that's how you can find me. Awesome. Remember, please, style is knowing who you are and what you want to say through your wardrobe. And not giving a damn. Just that simple. <laughs> I'm Terrence Styles. Thank you for joining joining us. Thank you for joining us on this episode of the manual. See you next time. <laughs>